In this video today, I want to show you how you can add transition presets here in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. What do I mean by transition presets? If I come here to my images, my video, and I add any transition here from the transitions tab. So let's say, for example, I want to use this one, this cross iris here, and I place it here on top. I have a couple of options what I can do with transitions. I can click it. I can, for example, even change the duration, make it longer, make it smaller. If this one is selected, I can even come up here in the inspector. And under this tab, you have all the settings for the transitions. I could, for example, even come in here and change the ease in and ease out mode, do this and all kinds of different settings. So what if you change all of this and now you decide that here in the other sections of my clip, I want to use exactly that transition as well. I don't want to come in here, go to this position and now have to add all of this again. If I place this one in, the duration is different. It's all default. I have to change all of the settings. But what if I want to use that one here, here and here? And for that, we can use transition presets. First, you have to come into the edit page that doesn't work on the cut page at the moment. You have to come into the edit page. I have a video here on my channel, how I show you, you can get all of those different pages. So definitely check out this video first. So when you are in the edit page, let's zoom in here a little bit. I can select my transition here. I did all the editings. Now I can do right click and then this pop-up window comes and I can say here, create transition preset. So now in the next step, I can give it a name. So for example, in that case, this was my cross iris ease in, for example, you can give it whatever name so that you can recognize this. And then I say, okay. And now when I come in here under effects, video transitions, and I just scroll down, you scroll all the way down until you see here wipe. And then the next category after wipe will be the user transitions. Every transition preset that you'd create will be here under user. So now we have here the cross in iris ease in and ease out. So I can come in here and I can just simply drag and drop that one here on this drag and drop this one on that one. And now I have the exact same transition with all of the presets here in this one. And the reason you want to use this basically is to be faster. If you're not using transition preset yet, start using it. It will make you a faster video editor and compare to the one that doesn't use the transition preset. And by the way, I also created now a masterclass for the speed editor. So if you're really thinking about speed, you definitely should try to get this device from Blackmagic. It's for DaVinci Resolve. It works on the desktop version and also on the iPad version. And I created a masterclass just for the speed editor. So definitely check out the link in the description. And this is the big bonus. If you are part of the DaVinci Resolve iPad masterclass, because I have a masterclass here for DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, all the students will get this masterclass with the speed editor as a free bonus. So you can either get this one separate or get that one. Definitely check out the links here in the description. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, especially on the iPad, consider subscribing. I'm Daniel and see you in the next video. Bye bye.